Hello and welcome to a very special Skybet League 2 Championship Edition of Sunday League to Legend here on YouTube and indeed on Football Manager 2021. The permutations are very simple. All we have to do, Leyland Albion, is better the result of Rotherham United and we are champions. Promotion has been achieved. Happened a little bit sooner than I thought it would have, but we've lost our last two games against Rotherham and then against Crew Alexandra. I thought that that maybe would be the championship winning game. I recorded it for YouTube. Didn't happen. We crashed to a 2-1 defeat. But today we are back at the Leyland Albion Stadium to take on Stevenage, managed by Callum McManaman. Currently, of course, with Melbourne Victory over in the A-League. Not so in the world of Sunday League to Legend. He's back in England managing Stevenage in Skybet League 2. We do have some injury concerns. Bruno Andrade, the non-league Messi, is out. His season is over. As a result, Koala and Tommy O'Reilly are our wingers today. We've even had to patch up Connor Coma, the greatest of all time. Certainly in a Leyland Albion shirt, he is on the pine, along with the likes of Tom Ince and Issa K. Let's head over to the dressing room. Is to say, come on lads, win this one for the fans and seal the title for us. Not sure that's the one that I'm going to go with. I think it's going to be this. Steve Ridge have lost three of their last five. Look at the motivation. I have downplayed everything in recent weeks. You can see our form's not brilliant. A draw, two wins and two losses. Uh, that's nothing to write home about. Uh, in team meetings, uh, we've actually held three team meetings in the past few games because uh, we could have won the title against Rotherham themselves uh, only to crash to defeat. You'll see that we are sat on 88 points, Rotherham on 83 and there are two to play. So a point here of bettering Rotherham's result means that we will uh, become Skybet League 2 champions. Uh, as I say, promotion came a bit sooner than I thought it would. I didn't expect it to be so soon. Uh, as I think we'll have a quick look at the latest scores and find out exactly where Rotherham are. They are away at Cheltenham. So we're asking our old opponents there to do us a bit of a favour. All they need to do is hold them to a nil-nil really as the Koala sends the ball in. But it's cleared. James Wilding now. And look at them flood forward. Good save by Desbois. So uh, in terms of the team sheet, things have changed a little bit over the season. Uh, Desbois is in goal because Tommy Jackson is basically dead. He's out for a few months. Koulibaly on loan from Tottenham is our right back. We've got Eastman and Harley Dean, as solid as you like in central defence. McBride at left back. And then the Koala on the right because I can't pronounce his actual name. Dom Drinkwater and Harry Manton are the central midfielders. Uh, Phil Stansfield not in the team for this one. Uh, Tommy O'Reilly on the left. And then up front, the combination of John John and Thompson Fearon, uh, our two top scorers. Uh, Thompson Fearon being talked about for the player of the season, uh, although that was a bit of an awful touch there, uh, as uh, Koala strikes the foot of the post, I think. Uh, Bryn now with the uh, goal kick, but it's straight to McBride. Let's see if we can build from here. Dom Drinkwater. Thompson Fearon through. Oh, and he's missed. That does not happen often. Uh, two shots, none on target for the Albion. Uh, whereas Stevenage have got one uh, on target. It's still nil-nil with Cheltenham and Rotherham. Basically, this is going to be a bit of a Soccer Saturday um, edition where all I care about is that result there. However, South End are winning. Does that make any difference to us whatsoever? Uh, allow me to check. Oh, it does, doesn't it? If South End win, and now Rotherham must be leading. Oh, that is bad, isn't it? Yeah. Shashua. Uh, he scored against us. Good player. Uh, really good player for Rotherham. Uh, and there is... Oh, it's a close shave for Dreyer. Now Koala with another corner kick. And it's now cleared again. James Wilding on the counter-attack. Let's put a foot in here, lads. 
That's a good clearance. Rotherham now two goals to the good. Oh, they're definitely going to win their game, aren't they? Uh, all that uh, is up to us is basically to get something on the board here. Uh, we kind of need it. This will only leave us three points clear uh, of United. Of course, we do have a better goal difference. So uh, it will go to the final day. And believe me when I say we will have it in this episode. We're not messing about here. Uh, as the ball is cleared to March, he must have been offside. Referee! How was he not offside? He was all on his own. So much time and... Oh, he was off, wasn't he? I'm not having that. Desbois with absolutely no chance whatsoever. Left all high and dry. He had so much time and space. He could have grazed cattle there. And we're not even seeing the tight offside call. That's a disgrace, referee. The referee has done us over here as Drinkwater plays the ball out to Koulibaly. Uh, not one of our better players, it has to be said. Uh, since arriving on loan, the young uh, man, young 18-year-old uh, from Tottenham, as we cough up the ball again to March, requiring Harley Dean to put in a really good tackle here. Now, can Desbois spark anything from the back? It's down to John John, Thompson Fearon, and he scores. 21st goal of the season, his 50th for Leyland Albion. Thompson Fearon, great play by him. It's over by John, look at that ball through. Takes out the central defender, and that is a good finish. We are back level. Thank goodness for that. As Rotherham still lead. So there's only a three-point gap here. Lads, we need to win this one. Or we're going to the final day, and that will be here on YouTube in this episode. We're no, not messing about. This is the end of the season. We've only got to play the FA Trophy. Uh, after this, we're in the final against Woking, uh, who have won it three times, uh, I'm told. Uh, we could win it three times uh, with a third triumph. Uh, as Thompson Fearon goes through, and it's disallowed. Oh, now the referee raises his flag. Yeah, let's see it there. Does he go early? Oh, he goes miles early, doesn't he? Could have parked a bus in that space. Not what you expect to see from a striker the calibre of Thompson Fearon who's been doing it for us for now for the last two seasons. As you've seen, 50 league goals to his name uh, as McBride joins Eastman in the book just before the break here. Cheltenham not doing us a big favour, although did we really expect them to? Probably not, uh, as the ball is played upfield now. If we can get a goal back just before half-time, there's the ball through. It's Thompson Fearon. This one counts. He had a bit of a practice, just getting his eye in, and then boom, we have our lead. It's 2-1 here at Leyland Albion Stadium. A, sta a, a ground built off the back of my hard work as we took them through from level 10, back in the early days, all the way through now to the championship in Skybet League 2. It is interesting, actually. I think I saw an advert for AFC Thames, Dr. Benji's series, where he's about to win League One, I think. So somehow he's uh, stolen a bit of a march on us there uh, and got well ahead. Um, didn't quite see how that happened, but I will catch that up on YouTube. It's always good to see what other people are doing. Uh, this is my thing, um, obviously. No camera or anything. We're not up to that sort of level just yet. Christ. As Kiyate just fires wide. Uh, a shot off target for him. Stevenage now with more shots, more on target. Uh, but a lower XG says a bit about the level of chances. Uh, but yeah, we have been uh, doing this Sunday League to Legend now for well over 50 episodes. Uh, as Cheltenham get a goal back. Tony Stirrup. Right? Cantering there into uh, a goal at the Johnny Rocks Stadium. Great name for a stadium. There are some fantastic ones. I mean, Fleetwood play a hybrid, for crying out loud. Uh, as the Koala gets the ball in, Koulibaly with a poor clearance. And now marches through again. But this time, Adam Desbois is there. Great goalkeeping. Gilmore with the cross is cleared up the field. Can O'Reilly do anything here on the wing? He's left his marker for dead in the weeds. But Smith makes a really good sliding tackle. Uh, we are just uh, after the hour mark. 
So that's going to mean uh, considering uh, a change or two. Uh, normally, I look for the players who aren't playing brilliantly. Basically, the defence. Uh, but you don't really want to change anybody in defence. Nor have I really got anybody to replace those lads. So Harry Mountain is going to come off. On comes Sam Deacon. Uh, unlucky to miss out, uh, to be honest. But uh, needs must at this stage. We have to improve that central midfield area. As we have a corner, doesn't result in a highlight. You always know that it's a bit of a poor effort when a corner doesn't even result in a highlight. I mean, the ball's going into the box. But Football Manager 2021 not deciding to uh, show us that particular highlight. As Steve, a goal back for Stevenage would really hurt us. Uh, as the ball goes through to March, Desbois there though. Oh, it's a great strike from Luther James Wilding. Oh, that man with three first names. Well, two first names. Wilding? Could you call somebody Wilding? I bet you could. Oh, this is now a Desmond. Desbois makes a really good effort there, but it's a first-time finish. The likes of which League Two has never seen. A chip from distance like that. First-time finish as well. What a goal from James Wilding. Uh, and now there's another booking here coming, I think for Stevenage we've got another corner Koala with the delivery it's cleared again but it's the Deacon on the ball now Koulibaly in field it's a poor ball from him he has not worked out at all I have to say prove me wrong Tommy O'Reilly it's going to go out to McBride now John John oh he fires into the side netting John John who's now uh, agreed a move here permanently he will be part of the Leyland Albion squad next season. Uh, I think it might be time to just encourage the boys once more as Gilmore fires just wide from a great free kick. Uh, speaking of free kicks, that's got me thinking about bringing on uh, has to be Tom Ince. Up front, uh, John John's coming off. The greatest of all time, Connor Comer. Could he be the man to get the decisive winning goal? Rotherham still winning their game against Cheltenham. I'm guessing Cheltenham, bottom of the league, of course they are. Absolutely nailed on, wasn't it? Yeah, there's another corner here. Headed away, not what we want. And now, Stevenage have a free kick, and that's gone marginally wide. That's inches wide. Can Cheltenham do us a favour? It's another booking. They can! Rodell Richards, a late goal for Cheltenham. Leyland Albion, as it stands, are going to win Skybet League 2. Can Rotherham do anything about it? Can we win against Stevenage? It's 2-2 at the moment. We've got a corner. No highlight again. Here we go. Ince with the delivery. This is the one. It's played in. Oh, it's on hand to divert the danger away. Come on. Cheltenham there. 2-2. Ince with the delivery. McBride. Oh, great effort, but it's off target. As still Cheltenham are holding Rotherham. This is genuinely tense. We're about to win the league. Two minutes to go, but if Rotherham get a goal back, it's all for nothing. Both games, 2-2. Two, two. two Desmonds taking place. As the ball goes forward, Koulibaly now back to Desbois. Come on, Frenchy. Is it over? Yes, it's over. Leyland Albion... Skybet League 2 champions. We've done it, boys. We are going up, and we are going up in style. We are going into Skybet League 1. Admittedly, half these lads won't be here next season. We need better players. But, for the moment, little Charlie, right in the middle of that, he can enjoy the fireworks. The trophy lift here at the Leyland Albion Stadium. A home game for us as the Claret and Blue reign supreme we are going up as champions into skybet league 2 desbois busting out the old handstand there the cartwheel what a performance two goals from thompson fear and should have been a hat trick really had he kept himself on side uh, march played well for stevenage and james wilding with that amazing chip just over the goalkeeper uh, towards the end as it stands then here we go Rotherham couldn't do it 
an away tie against bottom of the league, they could only draw two goals to two. Same score as ourselves. So we matched uh, United's effort. And there we have it. 89 points for Leyland Albion. 84 for Rotherham. We've just got one more league game to come this season. Uh, I think that's against Gillingham, who picked up a win against Harrogate. That's left them in a bit of bother because Exeter could catch them on the final day for the last playoff position. Our game to come, we're not going to uh, put that one on YouTube. It's a bit of a dead rubber now. But we are going to show the FA Trophy final uh, as we take on Woking in our battle to become, like them, uh, three-time winners of the competition. My favourite comp uh, with this save, certainly. It's the one where we seem to do uh, some big business. Thank you for joining me today. Leyland Albion are Skybet League 2 champions. Can we win a second trophy in a matter of days in our next episode on Monday? Uh, in fact, scrap that, we're going Friday. A special Friday edition of Sunday League to Legend in the FA Trophy Final. Join me for that. Let's see if the Albion can pick up another accolade. I'll see you then.